well. I mean, it, it's just the shock to the system of Omicron, uh, the Omicron variant hitting uh, really derailed things. I mean, actually what we saw in the last three-ish months was a real swing up in a certain group of stocks, high, high growth, high valuation, the likes of Tesla, for example, going up very rapidly and people getting fearful about inflation at the other end. Um, and then that has unwound quite rapidly in December. Looking into next year, it's, it's really difficult to tell if, if, if Omicron turns out to be you know, less serious, then perhaps we move back to a more uh, a sort of cyclical upswing, upswing market, but we just don't know. I mean, there's some debate over uh, how serious the symptoms from Omicron are. It, you know, some saying it's less serious than Delta, but really at this stage, I don't think we really know for sure. What we definitely know is it's more transmissible uh, and so the sheer volume of cases could lead to, uh, you know, renewed lockdowns in, in the early early in, in, in next year, which would obviously dampen um, the, the economy. So really, it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a guessing game at the moment. Looking into uh, some of the research that you produced and uh, some of the big winners that you've had uh, over the course of this year, you've had uh, A.O. Smith, Apple, uh, so the big manufacturer and also the manufacturer of devices. These have been big contributors to the upside. Yeah. And uh, if you look at the performance, very strong, 27% for Apple, A.O. Smith, about 40 plus percent higher. Mm. Any indication that some of the winners in 2021 will also be winners in 2022? Well, it's very difficult to say. We, we like A.O. Smith uh, because of the pricing power it has. This is a company that makes water heaters. Um, it's it, most of the businesses in the U.S., but it does have some China business, too. Uh, people got quite fearful about the China economy, uh, demand in China, and that caused the stock to sell off. Uh, but th then, then the results proved a point, I suppose, and uh, the stocks have bounced back really strongly. Um, if inflation does come through, which it seems to be, I mean, there's some debate about how persistent it will be, but let's just, if we assume it is persistent, then those sort of high pricing power type uh, companies are likely to do well. Apple obviously fits into that category. One of the reasons Apple's done very well recently is kind of, let's say, excitement about things like the Apple car, possibly, and the Apple glasses, possibly, and, and that kind of thing. But ultimately, it's a very strong band, brand producing great products. Um, and is able to put up prices quite easily. So again, pointing to great pricing power type uh, company. So those are the type of things you'd expect to do well if, if inflation does indeed uh, continue to surge. Tom, just, just thinking about the, uh, the pandemic for a moment. I mean, Apple is one of those companies that should do well, um, whether it's raging or, or whether ultimately we get an improvement in uh, the, the treatments for o o Omicron and o Omicron goes away here. But just more broadly, I, I know one of the themes that you were interested in was the broader pandemic recovery idea. Mm -hmm. Is that still intact, given we are still trying to understand whether Omicron is deadly and dangerous or just highly infectious? Well, it's a good question. Um, I mean, eventually the pandemic will fade away at some point. It's difficult to know when. Of course, uh, we felt that with um, vaccinations coming from the, basically the start of this year, you would see the pandemic slowly fade away. And, and really that's happened. If you look at cases are extremely high, but uh, death rates and, and serious infection has not followed that case, um, case rate trajectory that we've seen, particularly, let's say, in the latter part of this year. Um, so that really points to uh, the, the pandemic starting to fade away. Uh, and, and I think the previous speaker said the same thing. There's a lot of, you know, let's say pent up demand, saving and so on, which should fuel a recovery um, as and when that happens. The odd thing is, you know, some of the data you see from the NHS, you know, large proportion of the people in hospital are unvaccinated. It's a little bit sad, actually, but you do. it does seem to be something of a, an unvaccinated problem at the moment. Um, of course, Omicron is a bit of a, let's say, wild card. Perhaps the vaccines don't work as well, although the data seems to suggest if you have a booster, uh, you, you know, it actually the um, efficacy comes comes back to kind of as it previously was. So, yeah, we'll see. But I don't I don't think you can say that is totally out the window. Uh, certainly the data on Omicron is too early to tell as, as, as yet. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.